anything to do with gamers because that, that would just be like an exponent on their weirdness. Question one. Do you know what a pro gamer is? Somebody who plays video games all the time. Somebody who plays a lot of games. <laughs> Somebody who games a lot? I don't know. If someone plays a lot of video games or computer games? I would guess that it would be somebody who does nothing but play video games. Hardcore games on the internet. Surrounded in dark rooms. <laughs> Question two. Would you ever date a pro gamer? I don't think I'd ever date someone who spent more time on this computer than with me. They would never have time for me. They'd always be playing games. I don't think I'd understand what they were saying. <laughs> more time with his keyboard and his monitor than me, there's a problem. You're talking about internet gamers, not like Mario Brothers gamers. I sort of figure that anybody who plays video games that much and is hiding behind a computer to that extent has to have something that they're hiding. That doesn't really appeal to me that someone sitting in front of a computer for 12, 12 hours a day. There's like a game on like, like a computer game or something where like there are these people who kept playing and got so into it that there's one guy who like got to feed his kid and the kid died. So that would always be at the back of my mind. And there's also something else where um, it's like the same game but like they're allies or something like that. And the guy was betrayed by his friends and then so he committed suicide. I don't think I could handle that. So does anyone actually want to date the gamer that you've seen? Um, I think I'm kind of in one now, but it's like closet. Feels like a little bit. Well, gamers use their hands 12 hours a day. So, that can be I am the ownage, bitches. So like, welcome to like episode uh, two of like, you know, like my show. Uh, this episode, we're gonna go out, like me and Kyle, and I'm gonna pick up like lots of girls. Cause, you know, Kyle like has like, I guess like a girl friend now, like, you know? It's like a friend that's like a girl, but you call it like a girlfriend if you like kiss her and stuff. Kyle thinks maybe I can get girls and I'm telling him I own everything, so obviously I own some girls out, you know, like no problem. I figure like I can do that too if like Kyle can, right? But he doesn't think so. He like tries to think he owns me and somehow or something. And uh, I think it shouldn't be a problem. I played all the Legion Solaris, you know. I, was, I owned those games when I was younger, you know. So, I mean, really, it should be pretty easy, right? You just got to execute the right build order. And uh, and then you're set. And, you know, it might be cool, like, when I'm real old and stuff, like 30 or something. Maybe I'll, like, think about having, like, little nooblets of my own that I can train, you know. They'll be, like, Uber too, like me. And so, you know, a girl might help that. Question 3. Would you rather date a rich guy or a guy who has Uber Micro? <laughs> Uber Micro? I'd go with the rich guy. Uh, a rich guy? I would rather date a guy next to Uber other than What the hell is Uber Micro? I'll rich. Uber Micro? I don't even know what that is. Please explain the term. I don't know what Uber Micro is. <laughs> what is Uber Micro? I'd rather date a rich guy. I wouldn't be able to keep up with the Uber Micro dude. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the rich guy. Like, I don't even know what you like want with like the running. It's like pretty stupid. Man. It's like total Kurosawa. Like, you look around here. What? Me and like... No, no, no. Kurosawa, man. That's cool. He made like Mario Brothers and stuff. Like he's got some skills. Like I guess is a like designer, you know. 
seven samurai looking around like you got your sword, you're ready to kill some bitches, you know what I mean? Oh. This better be like as cool as you tell me you like and stuff. Cause I don't want to look like a loser, you know, like aggro or something. <laughs> I guess it's the, this is like kind of like a level that you play on, you know, like uh, as long as it's a good level, like there's no reason I should lose, I figure, you know, well, I can already tell, like, they know, they know, I just sit here, I think like, if I sit here, maybe it's like, you know, practice my micro, then they'll know and stuff, right, and uh, once they see I got the micro, like, you know, don't be like all over me. I'm kind of used to that like in the lobbies, like noobs are all like, come on and play with me and stuff because I want to like learn because you're so good. And I'm like, no, I don't have the time, but I got to play other people that are better than me and know them, you know? So that's like, I think how the girl situation is going to Question 4. Do you know what the word noob means? Noob? No. Noob? Noob? <laughs> no. 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 And obviously I'm not a gamer. I have a life. I've been playing the game for my years. What does it mean? I actually asked somebody today at dinner. <laughs> and somebody was new at my age. Question 5. Do you find the word noob sexy? No, not really. <laughs> I guess it kind of sounds like boo, but I don't know. Well, rhymes with boo, boo. But you find something no. I tried to like rush the last girl because I thought they were like noobs and I could just rush them and maybe end it quick or something. If you guys like want to be like my girlfriends or something. Uh, okay. Oh. Okay, I think Paz is pretty gay too. Paz is like totally gay. That's pretty weird you call yourself gay. <laughs> but uh, they turn out like they're pretty... They're pretty good, like defensively. Right away, they repel like my attacks. You know, like they have good base defense or something. Yeah, I eat too. That's cool. Maybe I, I got a little bit to learn because I'm not totally pro at it yet. But this is like, you know, I I just started. Like at least I'm no noob, you know. Next one's for sure. Like totally gonna own them. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I see that guy, man. I just met like a guy. He's like real cool. He's all like, come back to my house, like play some games with me and stuff. I'm like, man, I like own games and stuff, right? He's all like, well, come back and play with me, and I tell him, like, this is how I own, like, I own like this, right? And I started spanking him, and he's all excited and stuff. And he's like, yeah, yeah, that's, like, what I do, too, and stuff. So you want to maybe go back to this guy's uh, house food and, like, maybe, like, play some games? Jeremy. Jeremy. Like, uh, you know, no, he's cool, man. No, no, Jeremy, you don't want to go to his place. No, no, he said he plays good games. No, 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 he's, no, no, he, he plays gay games. <laughs> well, I mean, he probably doesn't play zero hour. No, 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 like, G-A-Y, gay, like, oh, well, no, 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 no,
He likes to He puts his in Questions I'm coming at your base with two rock bees and an ambo. You've got a Jarman, two swords, and a quad. What do you do? Question seven. Would you date this guy? Uh, probably not. <laughs> Definitely not. No, I do. <laughs> that noob? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So like it hasn't been like too like good for me like I own and stuff, but I didn't like own, you know. So what I'm gonna try is next maybe is some like reverse psychology or whatever, because like I heard that that like works sometimes, right? So, you guys like point in your mind and stuff, and you point to want to be like my girlfriend. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's yeah. The thing like about, you know, like how it's killing me like all the time and stuff, is that like, uh, at least I get to watch like the replays, you know? Like everyone knows like replays, they're like the best way to like learn, you know? It's just like a little too bad how they get like the one time that like uh, you know totally succeeded at all. How is the bathroom like you like a minute and this one girl come up and she's all like, hey like I heard you telling those other girls that like you totally bone like in games and stuff. And she's like, that's like real sexy, like I I own two, but like I probably don't own as much as you. It's like because I heard you own like lots and stuff. Like, tell me a story like about your life, like how it's old, tell me a story, like I'm like good at that stuff. So I'm like, this one time right I'm playing and like you know I'm playing this other GLA guy, right? And he's like doesn't really know like what he's doing because he's like not me and stuff. And, like so I got like six like rank three buggies, right? I'm like coming in at him, like on his pals and like, And the dude like quits like on the spot because like I just gave like so much orange and stuff, right? And then so she's all like, wow, that's like the coolest girl I've like, ever heard and stuff. And then she like, you know, like kiss me and stuff like that because like she thought I owed so much. And then she's like, I gotta go like real quick. And just as she left the car, I like, came out of the bathroom so like, she like missed it. Like, so don't have like a replay, but you know, I'm that's pretty cool. Yeah, Jeremy. Sure.
gonna lie for like on your noobs Cause I own you I own you like Kirby Hart is not right I'm on the goodies and spanks Just like you're like Kyle And you suck at At all the games you try to play Cause I own you I own you like pretty hard stuff, right? Nice on you I own you like you're like Somebody's mom trying to play the games I own you Is, is that on? I don't think I will own you Sometime Maybe when we play the
like came out recently that like EA who like makes like Zero Hour which is like you know it's like it's like the best game out there apparently they're not going to support the game anymore uh the, you know patch 1.2 that's a gift there's like no 1.3 which I can't, can't stay like that for like ever you know in USA Air like it's might as well be China versus USA Air Hour Warcraft is like the gay stuff like, don't get me wrong like Forms and stuff, but you know, like bows and arrows and dragons and some magic and stuff. It's pretty much for like guys that, like, you know, never gonna have sex and stuff. I have to respect Blizzard because, like, at least they care somewhat, you know? They have like 15 patches and they actually care about the stuff, you know? So, I guess what I'm just saying is that, like, uh, EA like sucks my balls. That's like what I'm saying, pretty much. Uh, they just suck my balls. Like, I got this one ball here. E, E, like, sucks, like, this ball here. And then the A, the A sucks my other ball here. So the E and the A are just sucking both my balls. Yeah, what do you want? And, uh, I think the next big unit that people are going to start using a lot more are probably going to be, like, saboteurs. Because they actually, they, like, own, like, pretty hard, you know? Get him in something and it's gonna like shut him down. Uh, is that Doug? You know, I know Doug like for like, like a pretty long time, right? Like we were like little like noobs to 
together, like, you know? Frag out! Dog, he's kind of weird that way. I don't know if, if, like, his brain, like, works too good. It's like, I just like to play with people, huh? This ball, I can dance all day, I can dance all day, it's like, try it! Boom! You know, he's just like has lots of energy and always talking about like killing people and stuff. Boom! Headshots! Like I could dance all day. And uh, I think that's just a little weird, you know. Do you want me to show that? Uh, yeah, for sure. Just, just, just introduce yourself. Introduce it. What's up? I'm done. Fuck! When we were like younger, and we were like kind of like little noobs together, you know, and we kind of just noob out, like playing with toys and stuff, right? And uh, you know, then we got into like video games and stuff, like we play like Nintendo, and then, uh, and then later like some Sega and stuff. And, uh, you know, we got older, and then eventually, you know, we, like, well, we, like, you know, bought some PCs, you know? Yeah, I guess you can say I own the FPS style, which is pretty much why me and Jeremy don't get along no more. One day I brought home Doom. And so, Doug, yeah, I tried to get Doug into, like, RTS once. I played some, like, Red Alert 2 with him, and, uh, <laughs> I, like, you know, I, like, killed him in, like, 30 seconds with, like, a Mirage tank, right? So I owned him at Doom. He was, like, fat, and I'm, like, no. And then he just left. And he's like, bang, and I'm like, gay and stuff. And, uh, and then he just doesn't like RTS like anymore. I think FPS is for, like, the kind of for like noobs, you know? It's for people like, maybe you got like micro, uh, you're, like you're kind of fast, you know? It's like you can't think, like you just kind of got. I think he's just afraid of the headshot! Headshot! Hey man, I was thinking about you the other day. You know what enough you guys are on me off? like five guys on D, me on the song. Fuck, man, the suicide? Like at the same time, man. Instead of just like just like going to one guy playing shooting, right? It's like j just like a little missile defender. Can you please control like the rest of my army? Because I don't have like, any micro, right? It's like I need a whole army to kill a bunch of guys. I don't need nothing by myself. It's like I'm coming around the corner, boom, headshot. It's like that guy coming around the corner, boom, headshot. Then get tanked, because I got frags. I got frags. So you're like like one ranger army like come at me, and I'm like. to bring up our guests around and hope maybe someday it comes around. Like, uh, 
there must be more people in the bar to have more common on those. So, the only thought maybe as an extra for fun this episode, we show you like one of the many people that are behind the scenes that go into making the show like all oh, so much. So, today, you're gonna meet the uh, buddy Dave here. In, uh, in episode 2, Dave held a lamp like in one of the shops in episode 2 in the room. Because Kyle thought like maybe we should have like more light or something to match some other like something. They be like learning film school. So we did that and Dave helped out. So here's like my buddy Dave here. Actually, my name is Dave, but the white barbarian is Toby Dave. Dave? Dave's like a pretty funny guy that way sometimes and it's kind of to have him around because he's so funny, you know?